Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Radiant Dawn. I'm your Squared Captain. Today, we're doing 2 Prologue. 2 Prologue is a defend map, and so the only objective here is to grind as much strike rank on Neolucci as possible, so that Neolucci will be able to have F-Strike before 2-2. Two, two. That's about it. So, because there really isn't much to say about this map, now we'll be discussing a little bit about the characters. So we have Neolucci, who will be useful in exactly one map. Uh, in 2-2, he's going to be useful because he have a strike, which is a lot of damage. Alencia is a making a cameo appearance, and she's like not as absurd because she's forced into wielding a slim sword. Uh, <laughs> she'll show up in two-man game <clears throat> with a really overpowered personal weapon. And then she'll show up in part 4 and be kind of mediocre in part 4 because she won't be able to double things. And then we have Marsha. Marsha's a pretty decent unit overall. Um, she flies, which is really nice. Even though she's probably one of the worst flyers in the game because her stats aren't actually very good and she has terrible availability, she's still a flyer, and so that's pretty nice. Um, and we have Leanne. Leanne has some weird properties where she has invulnerability for one map which is kind of funny, and she has ridiculously good um, dancing ability. She's, like, worse than Raphael, because while Raphael could dance all four sides at the same time, she can only dance for two, but that's still insane. It still creates a lot of algorithm breaks. And so, that's about it for 2 Prolo. So, part two in general is a really easy part. And so, the number one rule of part two is to make sure as many resources get sent as possible to the ground works in three, three. There's only one unit who joins in part two who's going to be any viable at all in by part three. Because units that join in three prologue are really broken. And you have to have insane stats to, com to sh compete with three prologue units. And there's that unit, Har. Har is just totally broken because Har has... Well, he has essentially a base level 11. He actually has insane stats. And one of the reasons I don't like Radiant Dawn sometimes is that Har is just so absurdly broken. And he just breaks the game in half. So that's about it for 2 Prologue. Um, the other thing to discuss, though, is the algorithm. So I keep mentioning mentions of like the algorithm a little bit. And Toffee did an okay video explaining the algorithm. But just to explain it more concretely, the very first step of the algorithm is that you write, is that you count the squares to the objective tile, which I, which in a seize map or a defeat boss map is pretty easy. It's either like one square away from the boss or within the range of the boss's movement or in a seize map, it's the seize point. And then you just calculate how many squares you have to move. And then you go, how fast can I move? Once you know how fast you can move and how much you have to move, you know what's the minimum number of turns that I would need to complete this map. Uh, once you know that pair of situations, you know, okay, how much leeway do I have, which is really important in 0% growth. You know, how many, how many squares can I lose and still make it there on time? And once you know the number of squares you can lose, you can sort of calculate how far you have to, how much you have to optimize movement. And once you know how much you have to optimize movement, you can sort of see if you can actually hit the turn floor or not. For the most part, I've been okay at hitting turn floors. Obviously, I've missed a bunch of turn floors. And the reason for that has been either bad unit quality, so I can't route things, or alternatively, bad, uh, like, insufficient ability to kill certain enemies, which a gross playthrough would be able to do. So that's it for 2 Prologue. I'll see you guys next time for 2-1. Bye-bye.